could be used by essential businesses, then possibly for performances that make the strip so famous. Las Vegas shows like Absinthe are clamoring to get back on stage. It's the greatest entertainment market in the world. We, we got to get it back and keep it that way. The Spiegel World production opened briefly in October, but was forced to shut down again when capacity was limited to just 50 people per show. If the EPA's first airborne antiviral to stop the spread of COVID-19 comes to Nevada, Mollison believes that could make all Las Vegas venues safer. There's some testing done on Broadway in New York City, and some of our team were part of that test and was so excited to hear, like, this is serious. Here's how it works. In a theater, in a dentist's office, or any indoor space, Grignard Pure is run through an HVAC system, or the treatment can be sent through a portable system. And the benefit here is that it provides uh, another level of safety for this air around the active shutter. Um, whereas other technologies we'll talk about, you know, disinfecting in the UV system, things of that nature, but that has no benefit whatsoever for the person who's sitting next to and active shutters. Grignard says the treatment kills 98% of airborne coronavirus, which health experts say is the most common type of spread. The EPA has streamlined the process. Uh, they do recognize this as a game changing technology. Mollison hopes his company will be one of the first to prove the effectiveness of this product on the big stage. So this is another added safety precaution. And I think it won't be just great for us for environments where people use uh, fog use theatrical effect, but maybe it'll also have application in resorts. Now, so far, just two states have approved Grignard Pure, that's Georgia and Tennessee, but Grignard says that more states are expected to follow, including possibly Nevada. Coming up next at six, we'll explain what it would take for Grignard Pure to make it here and for it to be used. Reporting live, I'm Drew Andre, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.